Sylvia from Cute as a Bow, and today's tutorial is the Dutch Wraparound into a Flower Braid. Now, I absolutely love this hairstyle because it doesn't start right here, but it starts a little bit farther up, and all of a sudden you see this braid that swoops around, literally in this loop, and it goes around the back of your head as a Dutch lace braid, and it comes and it makes just a little cute little flower. Now, before we get started, I do want to warn you guys, it's a little bit difficult if you're doing this on yourself. So if you have, like, a doll, or if you want to do it on one of your friends, or if you have a sister, then I suggest you practice on them before you start on yourself. So, without further ado, let's begin! Alright, so to begin this hairstyle, I'm just going to take some hair from about right here. And I'm going to make it a pretty thin piece. Let me just take some hair out of that. Alright, there we go. Now I'm going to do a Dutch braid. And I'm going to divide that piece into three equal parts. And I'm going to take the right strand. I'm going to cross it under the middle. Now I'm going to take the left and I'm going to cross it under the middle. And now, since this is a Dutch braid, I'm going to add some hair into that right strand, and I'm just going to cross it under the middle. And I am braiding very close to my part line so that that loop will be formed evenly. And when I'm adding hair, I'm adding very tiny strands into the braid. I don't want it to get too thick. And now when you've gotten to your last strand of hair and you don't have any more, I'm just going to bring the loop or the braid around here and I'm going to continue with my Dutch braid because I want a lot of the hair in front of my face to be back and I'm going to stop at about here. Now I'm going to be doing a Dutch lace braid so the way that works I'm going to take the right strand I'm going to add some hair to it and I'm going to cross it under the middle and I'm only going to add hair to that right piece so I'm not adding any hair to the left Why do you look so glum? Alright, so now I'm just going to be doing a regular three-strand braid or a regular Dutch braid, inside-out braid, but I'm not adding any hair to it. Let me fix those flyaways. Alright, so I haven't quite finished my braid, and the reason for that is because I want to pull the edges of the braid, and I'm just going to be using the right side, and I want them nice and fluffy and big. Alright, so now I'm going to take my clear elastic and I'm just going to secure this braid.
All right, there we go. And now I'm just going to come back here and really make the right side poofy. And it kind of looks like petals, you know, rose petals already. So I'm just going to make it thicker. All right, here we go. That is the first part of this hairstyle. All right, so now that you have your half pancaked braid already and secured, I'm just going to take it, and this is for the flower. I'm going to kind of fold the ends of my hair, and I'm just going to wrap the braid around itself. Kind of twist it. And I'm just going to fix stuff every once in a while. And don't worry, if it looks messy now, you can always fix it. You can put more bobby pins in it. Or you could make it, um, you could twist it more. But now I'm going to secure it. I'm just going to take some bobby pins and I'm just pinning the flower in the middle of the flower in place. And there you go. Alright, so this is my flower. I am not really satisfied by the way it turned out, even though I pinned it and twisted it up again and fixed it a lot. I still feel like I could have done better, but I just feel like I need more practice. If you do it on other people and really get a feel for it, then you will surely do it on yourself at some point. But otherwise, I feel like it's really difficult without eyes on the back of your head. Well, everyone, that's all I have for today, but I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial on the Dutch wraparound into a flower braid. Now, I love the way this hairstyle turned out, but I'm a little disappointed with the flower. I don't know, maybe you guys think it's a good flower, maybe I should touch it up or add more bobby pins, but I will see you guys next time.